Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, Bruno S44 here, and I am back for another short reaction. Next time around, we're taking a look at another video from Nightfall Studios. This is the end of Equestria. This is going to be a little interesting because next to the title, it says it's a motion comic? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Um, especially for like, well, MLP related content stuff. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, a motion comic. Like, I've seen comics that became an animation, but a motion comic? Does that mean like it's gonna have movement, but like it's still gonna have like text on screen as if it was like a comic book or something? If so, that kind of reminds me of like, um, I think they, didn't they do something like that in like, uh, freaking Fairly Odd Parents and stuff when, uh, Timmy would go visit like the Crimson Chin in his comics or something? Like, didn't they do something like that? If that's what they're doing here, then that's actually kind of pretty cool. Uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, by the way, if you guys don't know who Nightfall Studios is, they are the people who made, um, the freaking, oh my gosh, like, they made a freaking thing called a cult classic, which is by far like essentially their best video. And it shows with, you know, nearly 4 million views. But if you haven't seen that for some reason, go watch it. But, um, they are really, really, really talented animators. And just recently, Oblivion Fall, the, one of the members of that group has actually finished, uh, doing what he needed to do with, um, vectors and stuff so now he can get back into the swing of making animations which is awesome because now we can see more stuff and uh speaking of seeing more stuff we have this animation thing here to take a look at and it's only about a minute and a half so let's go ahead and jump in and see what happens in three two one go nightfall studios Sweet. Twilight! oh hi oh hey pinky you don't have any time the world's going to end in 60 seconds wait what, what are you Why? nothing is real our whole universe is just a simulation pinky slow <laughs> down the world's not going pinky doesn't to know end. the meaning of slow what's gotten into you are you blind she's found the, the fifth are counting the right fifth wall there. our universe is going oh my to end gosh. not that it matters there are millions of other universes just like it i guess Dr. Steinhoof did propose a bubble universe theory. Bubble? Well, it's more of a rectangle, but that's besides the point. Wait, what? Pinky, I can see you're upset, but how can you be sure? You don't have any proof. I like that oh, little effect that goes I around Twilight because Twilight. I actually, you know, Our use that Our universe has an ID number, you know. What? F-D-L-B-R-9-X-R-C-A-G. Isn't that a... It's written on your forehead! Isn't that a YouTube thing? Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that like the code that they put at the end like of a YouTube video? Like I saw it flashing for a second like as it was going... As it was like putting the letters and stuff up there. I think I heard about that! Oh gosh, who the hell was that who did that? Uh... Sorry. I think I... See how we put the YouTube ID inside the video? See, I knew it! I knew it! There was some dude. I... Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, hang on, man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna freaking... Pull up the video. Or, and, uh, look at the, uh, description. Uh... Let's see. Is it this guy? Oh, yeah, that's... And that's his icon. Okay. Yeah, some dude named Insane Doll Gallery... Or what uh, Nightfall Studios decided to just name uh, Dylan P. He has a video that's uh, about putting YouTube ID inside of a video. I remember hearing about that before. I never watched the video, but I like somebody told me about that before. That's pretty freaking wild. Huh. Didn't think I'd see a video use something like that. That's interesting. I wonder what got uh, Oblivion in the... And the crew to actually do that, like, to put that into the video like that. Like, it's a video, it's basically a videoception in a way. But that's actually really neat. Also, I actually really digged the whole motion comic thing for this animation. 
Uh, that was really, really well done. And I honestly would be all for seeing more of that kind of styling. Um, to my knowledge, that this whole plot of what happened here isn't actually a real comic anywhere, or like on DeviantArt or nothing. So you can't really go find it anywhere. I think this was just something they made up for this uh, animation. Which is fine. And to be honest, it makes a bit more sense that way because Pinky did say that, you know, oh, we only have, you know, 30 seconds left or 60 seconds, something like that. Like she was like count basically like counting down how much time was left until the end of the video, which was really fucking clever, by the way. Very clever. Um, but that being said, Twilight was, I don't know. She, I feel like she was a little bit calmer, all things considered, than I was a bit than I was expecting. Like, I don't know. That being said, I do kind of feel like towards the end of this thing here, where, like, you know, we were getting to, like, the end of it, there should have been a little bit more than just a, ah, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a symbol of, like, a sign of some sort that, like, their universe and their just collapsed or something, and then go to the Nightfall Studios Patreon thing at the end of the video, do something like that. That would be, like, the only thing I think I would change on here. But other than that, for as short as this animation was, it was actually really freaking cool. And I am pumped to see what Oblivion and its team does for this channel in terms of future animations. If you do more motion comics, awesome. If you don't and you just want to do full-blown animations by themselves, that's fine as well. And I am looking forward to whichever one you decide to do in the future. But um, anyways, as I said in the beginning of the video, if um, you guys would be taking a look at the channel, but for the sake of things, I'll say it again. If you enjoyed this kind of video and you want to see more of Nightfall Studio stuff, check in the link down in the description below and go watch more of their stuff. Uh, like I said before, freaking cult classic is a good uh, video for you to take a look at. But if you've already seen that one, maybe take a look at their little blooper reel that they put out uh, a couple months ago. It's actually pretty freaking crazy. Uh, emo gack in it is beyond, uh, crazy. So, yeah. Hope If you enjoy people derping, then that's a good video to watch. But, um, I really enjoyed this video, and like I said, I'm just really pumped for another one. But, for now, though, that is gonna be it for my take on this episode, everybody. And, uh, so, if you enjoyed this video, leave us half my decided, then leave a like down below! And if you have not done so, because why would you not, then, uh, you can click up here! And so subscribe. And now let's stay up to date on the content I'm making in the near future because I intend to update the stuff for the regular day here past the minute. So, without further ado, this is Brandon Mouse 24 saying, see you guys later.